Welcome to AEHelp.com's IELTS test preparation videos. You will now see some sample speaking interviews with native English speakers to show you how to speak like a native and get those high band scores. For this video, we have partnered with Skillshare, a world class platform that lets you learn from hundreds of different skills. Challenge yourself and be creative. Whether it's computers, photography, or English, Skillshare is a great place to start. Skillshare has been generous enough to give us this discount code with this link, also in the video description, for the first 1,000 signups to get two months free. I've been using Skillshare to improve my video and photography skills so I can bring you even better lessons. And so far, I'm absolutely loving it. Join Skillshare today and begin improving for your next exam. Now watch and learn. What are the basic steps to solving a problem in everyday life? Um, that's a really good and interesting question. I think you have to identify what the problem is, um, think of a couple of different solutions, um, identify which you think is the best one. Um, we have to be proactive when we're trying to solve issues. Have sports organizations changed the way that they operate these days compared to 50 years before? Well, I'm not 100% certain on how they operated 50 years ago, but uh, certainly there's been a lot of changes in the way they operate uh, in the recent memory. What do you mean? Well, uh, unfortunately, uh, politics and corruption have seemed to have made their way into the day-to-day -day operations of some of these large organizations. How has waste management changed over the past century? <laughs> well, I would say that 100 years ago, there really wasn't a system in place to manage garbage. Um, perhaps in the cities, uh, garbage was collected and taken away. Uh, otherwise, uh, I believe that recycling was virtually unheard of. As were these days, uh, we have um, waste management systems uh, that uh, separate especially dangerous waste such as chemicals uh, from other rubbish. And of course, now we have well-established recycling centers in order to sound like a native speaker and get those high band scores, you need to think of three important elements. Firstly, you have to sound coherent. This means clearly and accurately answering the questions being asked. Secondly, you have to use complex language, a variety of grammar and vocabulary. And third, you must sound natural. This is, of course, your intonation, pronunciation, and your word choice. The three of these together are interconnected and will make up your final IELTS band score. Now, let's talk about each of these in a little bit more detail. In order to sound natural, you have to pay attention to pronunciation, intonation, and word choice. Of course, there are a variety of ways that English is pronounced naturally. There's British English, American English, Canadian English. Now, some of these accents share similarities, but there are distinct differences. What's important is that you choose one to focus on. If you have the availability of American English, this is a good first choice because American English, especially West and East Coast English, are very clear forms of the English language that are widely understood around the world. What are the advantages of creating sports clubs and organizations? Well, uh, the obvious advantages are that uh, people have a platform to get together where they can pursue their respective sports. Um, and clubs can trade players, uh, thereby improving the overall skill and ability of their teams. If you live closer to the UK, or perhaps in the UK, it makes sense to learn the British accent. What are common situations in society where people make complaints? Um, 
people often make complaints when they spend their hard-earned cash, they do not receive the quality they, res they paid for, such as my case of Onyx Airlines. Uh, people make a fuss when they feel they've been wronged by others. Um, like when a car cuts in front of you, obviously you, it's frustrating. In either case, make sure to focus on one, study phonetics and study pronunciation. There are lots of resources for this on the internet. I will list a couple in the video description. Secondly, you have to intonate like a native speaker. This means your inflections and your deflections must sound similar to that of a native English speaker. In order to do this, you should copy characters from movies or from different kinds of audio that you can find online, like podcasts. Make sure to copy the rhythm and the intonation of native speakers regularly. Practice this daily. And third, your word choice. Native speakers will choose a variety of words when they're speaking about a certain topic. Of course, they will frequently use phrasal verbs and idiomatic language. Make sure to study phrasal verbs and idiomatic language and adapt it to your everyday communication in the English language. Let's watch a few examples of these native speakers doing just that using a variety of vocabulary with phrasal verbs, intonating nicely, and pay attention to pronunciation. Some people believe that it is too late for people to reverse the damage already done to the planet. Do you agree with this? Why or why not? Um, I don't agree with this. Although I sound uh, pessimistic, I do like to think of myself as an optimist, and I believe that humans are uh, incredible, especially when we band together uh, to fix problems. And uh, I do think that we will be able to come up with solutions uh, to pollution and the damage that we've done, um, such as um, building uh, better recycling centers, but even better waste management, what we talked about earlier. Uh, and I think humans will be forced to just consume less for their own survival. Um, about six months ago, I had a really unpleasant experience um, of a flight from Vienna to London with uh, Onyx Airlines. Um, the, the first issue for me was, um, I know they put the seats really close together to save expense and uh, to maximise space, but I was literally my legs were up against my chest, I was like a sardine crushed in a can. There was literally no room and I, I couldn't get my legs down, I couldn't get my hand luggage in. Um, Have you ever celebrated a foreign holiday? As a matter of fact, I have. Uh, just recently, um, I hung out with several of my Asian friends and we celebrated the uh, Chinese Lunar New Year. Um, we had a lot of fun shooting off fireworks. Certainly, when native English speakers communicate, they strive to be coherent. This means clearly understood by their audience. The best way to achieve this in the IELTS exam is to pay careful attention to the questions. Use the question in your answer to stay on topic. Focus on giving clear explanations and elaborate with details. Use lots of descriptive language like adjectives, adverbs, adverbial clauses and adjective clauses to give details. This is what native speakers do. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. <clears throat> so, without a doubt, the biggest sporting event in the United States uh, is the Super Bowl. So, this is the American football final um, in which the two best teams, one from each of the major conferences, the NFC and the AFC, face off against each other and compete for the Vince Lombardi Trophy. It's uh, so popular that uh, I would say it's even an unofficial holiday that we affectionately deem super, call Super Bowl Sunday. Um, it usually takes place on the first Sunday of February um, after the completion of the playoffs. Have the way people communicated these days changed compared to a generation before? 
Oh, absolutely. The method of communication has changed dramatically over the past 30 years uh, with the advances in technology. Um, nowadays you have such applications and software as Skype or Messenger which allows you to text and also to video chat. This is simply unheard of back in the day. Uh, if you walk around any place for an hour, where would you go? Hmm. Given the chance to take a 60 minute stroll anywhere in the world, I would probably choose uh, maybe the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. I've never been there and it looks like an incredible building. I'm sure I could spend an easy hour uh, walking around. Last but not least, native speakers use complex language. This means that they use a variety of grammar to express their ideas clearly and accurately, meaning using the continuous form of the verb, ing, also using present perfect, have done, even combining present perfect with the progressive, have been doing. And of course, native speakers will contract auxiliary verbs. I've been doing this for a while. In order to do this well on the IELTS, it's important to reflect the grammar of questions. If the question is using the present perfect, you should use the present perfect in your answer. Native English speakers do this naturally. When their ear picks up a certain type of grammar, like a conditional, they will often respond using the conditional in their response. If I had a million dollars, I'd probably give some to charity. Again, watch these native speakers produce complex language to sound natural. If you could improve communication technology, what might you do? If I was given the opportunity to improve uh, devices such as smartphones, um, it would definitely be I'd improve the digital connections. Um, there's been quite a lot of times this, I've, you can't hear what the other person's saying. Um, the calls they can be quite muffled or distorted. Have your walking habits changed in the past 10 years? I think the way that I walk has um, improved uh, quite a bit, especially in the last two years, uh, just because I've been running uh, recently, which I didn't do before. And um, I used to walk a little bit uh, pigeon uh, toed, so now uh, my feet are a little bit more straight when I'm walking. If you could create a holiday, what would it be? That's a really good question. I suppose I'd go with uh, Grandparents' Day. Uh, kids these days really don't get to see enough of their grandparents. So I think this would be a good opportunity for them to spend some quality time with, with their grandparents as they should. To see many more lessons like this one, as well as six original practice exams, a fully interactive course, and over 100 hours of videos, visit and join us at aehelp.com. Use this discount code also in the stream description to get 10% off the premium package. Good luck the next time you sit your IELTS exam. Subscribe to our channel, click over here, watch another video, click right up here, and click our IELTS hero to join our premium package and get access to all of our videos practice exams, and a fully interactive course.